and welcoming our guest this morning, Dr. Stephen Motarjame. Did I get that right? You got it right. All right, Dr. Mm -hmm. Steve or Dr. M. So nice to have you here. Nice to be here. Thanks. And um, so, Dr. Steve, um, you are the founder and chief medical officer of Medical Man Cave. Is that right? That is correct. Okay, and. That um, that is sort of a, a boutique um, aesthetic medical care service up in based in Denver. Yeah, okay. well, it's it's sort of a a we're it's trying to develop a one stop shop, a place for guys to go. So well, from primary care to psychiatry to cosmetics. Really? So, well, tell yeah. me more about that model because uh, I, I for whatever reason I had the impression that it was mostly medical aesthetics. Right. So. Um, the, the original goal was to have a place for guys to get primary care and some aesthetics. And then sort of the aesthetics thing sort of blew up and, they, you know, that's right. where we started focusing mm-hmm. on more. But we're trying to really bring in the other part of it, too, with the psychiatry and the primary huh. care. And actually, we're building out the space next to us. To We're going to actually put in some barber chairs and some cosmetic dentistry. So there's wow. going to be anything you could want for a guy. So a good, safe home for them that they feel comfortable in. Oh, that's super cool. So how did you, and, you know, I want to kind of delve into first, like, what's this idea? This like man cave, like the medical man cave. What what do you mean by that? Uh, We were just trying to come up with a a catchy name for guys (laughs) that they would, Uh you know, they would feel really comfortable in. Right. And we just bannered stuff for a long time when we came up with that, you know, that everybody, all the guys talk about their man cave, you know, in the basement. And then we're like, well. Well, the medical man cave sounds really good, and then sort of everybody giggled initially at it, yeah. and then and then really we sort of felt real comfortable with it, and it, it sort of guys love the name. So well, yeah. and I've been up to your offices, uh-huh. and you know, met your wife and everything, and I will tell you, it is really like a man cave. Yeah, like it's the, awesome. The yeah. leather and the black paint and the whiskey bar yep. <laughs> in the lobby. So it's yeah, pretty it just, cool. It, when a guy walks through the door, they feel totally comfortable. I mean, they feel just at rest. So you know, we made. We looked at what cigar bars, you know, that's, that's yeah. real geared toward guys. And right. then we, Mountain Chic, like going yeah. up to the Four Seasons or something in Vail and that yeah. kind of thing. And we wanted that sort of combination. So we spent a long yeah. time trying to put those pieces together. Well, I'm not good. sure going to your primary care physician and puffing on a stogie is right, real right. consistent, right? Well, there's a, <laughs> that is so funny because people say, watch well, put cigars on. I'm like, yeah, it doesn't really go with the primary care. <laughs> is that our brand? You exactly, know? exactly. That's funny. So. so how did you, I mean, other than the fact that you're a guy, how did you uh, develop this real, you know, heart to serve, um, you know, guys? Right. So, I've sort of been always looking at what's needed in medicine. Mm-hmm. And, and so I've done a lot of things through the years uh, that was needed. My wife does dermatology. Right. And she, we always talked about how guys just never had a place to go all through the years. They never right. had a place. They don't follow up. They don't follow up their labs even. Mm-hmm. They, they have. A, she always complained that there was guys with precancerous cells. Well, and then five years later, they get cancer because they didn't follow up. So right. we wanted a place where guys would come to mm. because they felt comfortable being at. And that sort of was the idea that we were talking about for years. And then we decided to build this out piece That's by cool. piece. It's COVID sort of gave us a little, you know, we started building it and it gave us a little pause, a little slower to delve even further into the different ideas and stuff. So that's right. where we came up with the psychiatric part and the TMS that yeah. we offer now. Well, and, what's TMS? Transcranial magnetic stimulation. So oh, this wow. is. That's a mouthful. It is a mouthful. Okay. And so is that they, the machine? Yes. That, okay, okay. That big machine that sort okay. of puts magnetic waves into your brain mm-hmm. and that uh, we program you to come spend money. No, just no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll take a goes. couple. I, I could take a couple of those. No. <laughs> so we, um, you know, like if you're depressed, right. that part of your brain is hypo functioning. So it's going slow. Okay. So it's sort of like a pacemaker kind of thing. We, it's 36 treatments, really short bursts, 11 minutes, but it goes to that, it goes to that part of the brain and hyper stimulates that brain. And then it, your brain starts picking up and starts going faster. So really only people that have failed medical therapy for a long time would even get insurance to pay for it. But then 40% of those don't need meds when they're done. I mean, think about Mm -hmm. the worst of the depressed and you're carrying 40%. So it's really cool. And it does that for PTSD and smoking cessation and, you know, and uh, insomnia even and anxiety. It's really, there's such a wide variety. Athletes use it to increase their their 
speed and mm -hmm. it's you've been used with autistic kids yeah. i haven't done it but it, that, that help them talk again and wow things like, there's a lot wow. of just just beginning everybody to understand it so it's really cool mm -hmm.